I'm being honest. All right, what is up? Today is Sunday and we have all six kids with us. I'm going to be making some potato fries for dinner with a vegetable. I mean, I know potatoes are vegetables, but I mean like a green vegetable or something along those lines. But there is a very specific way to help you achieve perfect potato fries. And yes, there's a big difference between fries and potato fries, even though they're made out of the same thing. So, you'll have to do a few things for me though. You'll have to excuse any of the weird kid noises that are being made from the other room. No, I promise no one's dying. And you'll probably just have to bear with me just a little bit. Sound like a good plan? All right, now that we have that covered. The first thing that we're gonna do is, the perfect way to make perfect potato fries, did I say perfect enough yet? <laughs> is to get your Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, I'd imagine steaming them like in a steam basket or even possibly boiling them, but not till they're completely done. Hey, what's going on in there? Anyway. I'd imagine that you can probably cook them a bit and that will have the same effect. But for this demonstration, we are gonna do the perfect potato fries in the Instant Pot to start off. Hold on, gotta go mom. Okay, I'm back. Kids wanted to run through the kitchen, it was gonna be a chaotic show. Anyway, so what you're gonna wanna do is, you, don't, you can't put too many potatoes in the Instant Pot, so you're gonna probably be able to fit, mm, maybe six? seven potatoes, but that should be plenty if you're feeding a decently large family, especially if you're pairing it with a, veg a green vegetable, you know. So what we're going to do first is I've got my little device here to put into the Instant Pot. I'm going to put that into the Instant Pot. Now I have some water to put into the bottom of the Instant Pot, and you don't want this to come past the... Um, little tray thing. Let's see, rack. That's about... Oh, I'll tell you how much I end up putting in there. Uh-oh, hold on. Gotta go fix the crying kid. Okay, so uh, it looks to be that I added about a cup and a half into the Instant Pot so that it didn't go over the rack. Now what we're gonna do is place the potatoes into the Instant Pot. Um, if I buy organic potatoes, I don't usually worry about the dirt, if I'm being honest. So I'll probably just poke a couple holes, holes in there just to make sure. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing this and I don't need to, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Okay, I was able to fit eight potatoes into the Instant Pot. So it's actually pretty good. I believe I have the... I want to say I have the 8 quart instant pot because I know that that probably is something that you might be wondering. So I'm going to put the lid on the instant pot, make sure it is secured, seal the lid, and I'm going to set it on manual for 15 minutes. Now, the reason I know it's 15 minutes is because, you know what actually, I might, yeah, 15 is good. I'm going to set it for 15 minutes starting. I actually know what the settings for that are because I have High Carpana's um, Instant Pot ebook. And it is amazing. I refer to it all the time. She has a chart in the back of the book that goes through all of the vegetables, all of the grains and beans, and what the time frames and, you know, what everything to cook them would be. What's going on in there? Oh, okay. What, Archer? You want to say hi? Another uh, one Ran away? Sam ran away? Casper? Casper ran away? Yeah. It's like I'm playing a game of like charades or mad, mad gap. Mad gap's out here. Come here. You want to say hi? Okay, come here. Archer wants to say hi. Hey. See, look right here. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, bonus bunch. Hey, bonus bunch. There you go. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait for this to pressure. 
to pressurize and then um, we'll get, I'll get back to you when the potatoes are done cooking. All right, the Instant Pot just beat and now I'm going to release all of the pressure. It does say to let it just like natural release in some of the posts that I've seen. But ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so here we go. And pull this out of it. And I'm gonna let that go. It's probably gonna take a minute or so. Alright, I'm about to open the lid and I'm going to do the good old fork test. Let's see how well they cooked. Of course, they're cooked perfectly. So if you don't want potato fries, well guess what? You can just have yourself some baked potatoes, people. But, no, we're not having baked potatoes tonight. Tonight we're having potato fries. So I'm going to put my potatoes on the cutting board. Yes, they are very hot. You can put them, like if you've done this in advance, you can put them in the fridge to cool off for a bit. But like I said, ain't no make time for that. So I'm just gonna put them on the cutting board here. Um, if you don't need to feed a ton of people, you can make all these potatoes and keep them in the fridge until you are ready to make some potato fries. And that will help you be prepared for the next um, couple of days, or a few days actually. So as you can see, I have a lovely assortment of potatoes right here. Um, they're pretty hot. So I can try to cut into them to see how far we can get with them being so hot, but I don't know, they're not too bad. Unless I'm just crazy and have a high tolerance for heat. I mean, I am a ginger. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. Um, okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut these into wedges, hence potato fries. And that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> all the potatoes cut up except for this one. Don't hot. touch, they're hot, okay? Watch out. All right, so now what we're gonna do is season them, but I'm just going to lay them on the tray I have here. This is for the Breville Smart Oven. Oh, Archer, don't do that. Please don't do that, thank you. This is for the Breville Smart Oven, and um, that's what we just got a little while ago. We've been using it. This is a really large tray. Oh, sorry, Archer's moving the camera. This is a really large tray, so you should be able to fit quite a bit of potatoes on here. No, you need to stop. Season the potato fries with some garlic, <clears throat> excuse me, garlic powder and some sea salt. I'm just gonna pop these into the Breville Smart Oven for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna watch them kind of carefully. As you can see, I didn't fit all of the potatoes on the tray, but I can definitely save these for tomorrow. All right, timer has been set, and we will see just how well that goes. Although I'm pretty confident I've done this before. Kind of a privilege at all. I mean, I know it doesn't look like it. 
kind of looks like a mess, but I promise you can trust me. Also, on another note, my shirt says I don't eat anything that poops because I don't. Look at me go. All right, so what's great about the Breville Smart Oven is that you can see just how brown things are getting. So these are starting to bubble a little. I'll start browning here in just a bit. Don't mind the dirty glass door that we have. Got to really wipe that off as this light you can turn on so you can check whenever you need to. How exciting, I know. Super exciting, just don't look at the messy glass. Okay, so now you can definitely see like browning happening and it's pretty stinking exciting. What? Sorry, what? Okay, start again. What do you need? Um, there's no stairs. Literally, no idea, guys. I have stairs. Literally, no idea. I'm getting dinner. To get dinner? Yeah. Oh, okay. You want dinner? It's almost done. Say, it's dinner time, baby. It's dinner time, baby. <laughs> Here's Jelly. All right, I think they're just about done. You can see they're nice and crispy and they're cooked through on the inside, so they're crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. The kids are excited to eat. And I have some green beans to match with these potato fries. It's gonna be a good time, folks. All right, there you have it. I did set the oven to 400 and I set it to 15 minutes. I wanted them to get just a little bit more brown, so I did drop the temperature down for the last five minutes to about 360. So, it takes about 20 minutes for them to cook. My biggest suggestion would be to get a ton of potatoes in the Instant Pot and have them in the refrigerator ready to cut and season to be put into the air fryer for cooking, for making crispy basically. Okay, that about does it for now. The kids are starving, so I'm gonna go feed them. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, super easy, quick recipe videos, either reviews or just what we have got going on, so we make up stuff all the time, give us a big, huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We do put out daily videos, and we are so happy to be doing this, and we will see you later. Bye.